Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get macOS um, Classic environment on PowerPC Max running macOS 10.4 Tiger or older. As you probably know, those versions of macOS running on the PowerPC platforms actually support classic macOS apps. However, they're actually uh, not installed by default. I'm talking about the classic environment. And the worst part is that um, usually if you did a clean install of, for example, macOS 10.4 Tiger, you won't actually get the classic environment included. And if you want to get the classic environment officially, you actually need to have an original macOS 9 install media. And then probably a lot of you do not have the actual um, install media. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you the easiest way to get macOS uh, classic environment on a uh, PowerPC Mac that already has a power uh, that already has a uh, macOS already installed. So for example, this iBook G4 has a uh, macOS 10.4, a vanilla install pretty much. Uh, and if you can, if you go to the system preferences there's actually no option for the classic environment on the system preferences. So that means classic environment isn't yet installed on this machine. So the first step is um, you have to go to the Apple's website. I'm going to give a link in the, the description. And as of right now, I'm actually kind of surprised that this thing is still exists. Like you can still download this on Apple's website right now. And what you want to download is the netbook for Mac OS 9 and this will be a uh, around 510 megabyte DMG file so you need to download this so once you get the file downloaded you'll have this file called netbook 9.dmg open up the file as you always usually do with a uh, disk image and then you can choose whatever language you want but I'm just going to choose English and what you want to do is uh, open up the package file. So you'll be showing here, welcome to Netbook for Mac OS 9. So you just click continue, install it to your system disk. Um, actually, it still has no password. Just gonna wait for, for, for it to finish. When this is finished, it will say that there's some errors um, occurred when you install this package. You'll just have to ignore that. Uh, it means it's actually successfully installed. As you can see, there were errors installing the software. Please try installing it again. You can just ignore that. It is actually installed, by the way. Once the installation is done, uh, you're going to check your uh, system disk. And you notice that there's a uh, folder called netboot installation if you click on it it says that you don't have the sufficient privileges um, what you want to do is uh, we have to actually enable the root account and I'll show you how to enable the root account so you go to the applications folder utilities and then you're gonna look for net info manager Alright, so once it's already open, you're going to click on the lock icon and then you enter your password. And then on the menu bar, you go to go security and then enable root user. So it says here the root password is currently blank and just enter a password that's for you easy for you to remember because uh, you're going to disable this anyway. But for example, one, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four. This is going to be temporary, by the way. So then uh, you already enabled the root account. We have to uh, log out from your current user account on your Mac. So we're just going to say log out. Now, 
we're going to click on other and then the name will be root and your password which you've set you're just gonna let it boot for a bit this might take a little bit while alright so now we can go back to the uh, system disk and you should be able to access the netbook installation so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna copy the macOS ROM to your system disk and then here uh, you're gonna open up the netbook HD this might take a while alright then um, you're gonna open up the uh, mounted disk and you'll see application mac os 9 and the system folder what you're going to do is just drag this into your system disk all right it's done copying and you can just you can actually go ahead and delete the netboot installation file just drag it into the trash just empty the trash you can um, you just have to sorry you have to eject the disk first but basically you can just um, eject the netboot installation folder alright and then um, you can just log out from the system administrator account and log back to your normal user account So now you're back on your uh, normal user account. Um, it's recommended for you to disable the root user account that we've enabled back then. So we can go to utilities and then we go to net info manager. Uh, authenticate and disable the root user all right the root account has been disabled all right so moment of truth we're gonna try run a mac os 9 application uh, i'm gonna try graphing calculator and you can see the classic mode all right, it says here the risk version of QuickTime found by Mac OS 9 is not recommended. You can just ignore that. And then it says here class and needs to update the files. Just let it update. This might take a while since this is the first time it's starting up. And as you can see, uh, the Mac OS 9.2 startup screen is there brings back old memories to some of you guys who have used a uh, old Mac and you can see that it closes but there it is so this is a graphing calculator like, I'm just gonna try out There it is. I've created a, a linear graph uh, on the Mac OS 9 graphing calculator. And you can see it's fully working. And you can see the, the older version of the Mac OS 9 classic Mac OS um, menu bar is there. You can see the uh, Rainbow App logo. And it means that. You have successfully you successfully install Mac OS um, classic environment on your PowerPC Mac. So that's how it is to install 
fasting environment on a power pc mac or especially on a fresh uh, installation i hope you guys find this video interesting and helpful thanks for watching